And welcome back as we come to you live from the Hy-Vee High School headquarters as they support Iowa high school athletes all season long. Hy-Vee making life easier, healthier, and happier. Let's continue on with our interview process tonight. They won this, af this afternoon or morning, <laughs> sometime today, at the Unidome. And I'm sure this is a tired man, but he's still going to give us a few moments to talk about his outstanding football team. West Hancock of Brick Eagles head football coach. Bob Sanger, first of all, congratulations on making a state title game in Class A, Coach, and congratulations on victory oh, number you. 300. Thank you very much. I'd tell you something, we kept it exciting enough for you, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, Coach, you know what? As a, as a guy on the outside looking in, there's a lot of fans probably, if they had no dog in the fight, scratching their head in this football game. Some interesting moments for both sides on the coaching staff with the turnovers and plays on fourth down. Uh, it made it quite interesting to watch that football game today. That's why we went for it on that fourth down that time is so we could keep it in. Us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, just kidding. You know that. Now, oh, I know. <laughs> I absolutely know. Well, yeah. you know, it was it was a game that, you know, it was a lot of ebb and flow. It looked like somebody was getting ready to take the momentum, and as soon as that would happen, somebody would snatch it away in the red zone. It, it was one of those games that just you just never knew how it was going to end until you, you finally kind of took control down the stretch there. Yeah, that's right. I tell you, you know, so many things happen. You know, that play right before half now really looks big. You know, we got that interception, run it back, you know. And, oh. and then uh, a couple pass plays, you know, and I tell you, neither team is known for passing, but we had two big pass plays in the game that probably kept uh, two drives alive. In fact, one was a score. So, you know, there was lots of things that happened in that ball game. You know, I'm not too proud of that fourth down play, and we didn't we didn't execute a very good play there. But, uh, you know, other than that, we had uh, – I think we had one turnover on that kickoff, and and uh, and they had one toward the end of the ball game. So all in all, all those things happen. There's so many things that happen in a ball game, and and uh, we overcome. So I'm pretty proud of our kids. Yeah, how much you enjoy matching wits with Randy Hinkle? Because I mean, you guys are both a little bit old school as far as that goes. I mean, you line up, you know what you're going to do on offense, and and you just go out there and do it. Yeah, that's right. Line up toe to toe and go get them. You know and. Um, you know, and he said for me the ball before the ball game, he said, "Boy, first one that throws a pass is a pansy." You know, and I said, "I didn't <laughs> tell him that after the ball game. I told him I wanted to say to him you're the pansy, but I didn't think that was the time." You know, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it just too bad that somebody had to lose a ball game because you know it was two pretty good teams and they were going at it pretty hard. You know, I think everybody, the kids on both sides, were really getting going hard and they wanted to win pretty bad and. You know, it's just that's the way it is. Only one team can win, I guess. I guess I'm glad we are, you know, the winner. We've been there down there enough times and got turned away, and we finally, I think we've only had three wins in that place out of about, oh, 14, 15 tries. I'm not just sure how many times we've been in there, but it's been a lot. We've lost a lot more than we've won, so it's pretty nice to be on that side of it. Well, it was fun to watch as a fan, and especially in the first half. I don't think the drives were more than 30 seconds. If they were, then I'm wrong. But uh, there were some quick plays, 65, 75, the interception return. The scores are quick. But the second half, even though the score ended up 48-38, um, it was a lot of pounding going off there and a lot of hard-earned yards. It became more of a defensive game in the second half in contrast to that first half. Yeah, it certainly did. You know, I think uh, Coach Perkins at half times had make some adjustments. They were on that double dive stuff, and we had looked for it being the inside the end, and and they were going outside, and we didn't get the adjustments. You know, in the second half we made some adjustments there that helped us out a little. Plus, you know, I think kids, after you run that much, you go that hard in that place. You know, I think you were getting a little tired too, so it became more of a defensive battle. But uh, you know, it's it's just it was pretty good football. You know, I think the second half was probably we had a couple turnovers, I guess there was, but it's pretty good football for the most part like football should be you know slug them out yeah. yeah bob how gratifying was it getting to the dome beating that same gale and catholic team that handed you your only loss in the season and of course you have some history with them because your lone state championship game uh victory came against gale and catholic so maybe a good omen as well yeah it's uh you know that's a good feeling you know it's gratifying you say you know it's been a lot of a lot of years and a lot i talked to mr wolko about that and i said boy a lot of a lot of wrench, uh, stomach wrenching things happening over uh, this many years of football and so forth. But it's always gratifying when you know, you know, the kids are working hard. And, and I tell you, boy, they were doing that tonight. I was concerned early in the ball game, you know, about uh, our big kids getting tired. But boy, I don't think they quit. They were just coming after it all the time. And in fact, I think they might get stronger toward the end of the ball game. So, um, lots of things, lots of things to be thankful for. That's for sure, you know, because. West Hancock football, we're back, and I'm pretty proud of that. 
Well, Coach Sanger, before we let you go, we looked at the first game as well, Lisbon and Newman Catholic of Mason City. That was more of an opposite game on the field, and more, more of a defensive struggle. Lisbon ended up prevailing in the end and really kind of had control of that football game throughout, especially on the defensive side of the football, but also throughout the year. They've also been a juggernaut offensively. Are we going to see what we saw in the first half of the Madrid West Hancock game, or are we going to see a little bit of what we saw in the second half? <laughs> I think you're going to see a little bit of both again there because we go. I think they they had their quarterback was uh, you know he was hurt the week before and I think he's getting back to being healthy you know and at an end that was out too I know and so I, I just think it's going to be you know they're going to throw the ball and run the run the ball it's going to be a wide open football game you know and uh, I tell you we're looking for the, the challenge you know we got we got some preparation to do and we got some resting to do to get ready for next week so we're looking forward to that challenge and i'm pretty excited about that and i'm sure they are too well coach sanger i'm sure if anybody has a hot tub in brit tonight the kids have found those homes to be able to soak after that football game today <laughs> that, certainly that's <laughs> the truth you know i think they'll be loving that all right bob sanger thank you very much congratulations again on victory number 300 and all you've done for young men coaching iowa high school football both on the field and off the field Thank you very much for your thoughts. I appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Bob, and congratulations on getting to the championship game. You bet. We'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Bob Sanger, the head football coach of West Hancock of Brit, the Eagles, getting set to take on who? The Lisbon Lions, Lions top-ranked right? and unbeaten in Class A. And they'll play the state championship game next Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the Unidome. What a great coach. Uh, you got, that's got to be a lot of fun. Legendary, but still having fun. You can tell by the way he talked about the game. Yeah, and he was having fun matching wits with Randy Hinkle there from Madrid. <laughs> How about that line? You know, whoever throws the first pass is a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> and they did throw it. That's right. They, so I, uh, he'll take it, though, when it's complete. It looks pretty good. Uh -huh. A lot of That was a fun game to watch. Interesting game to watch. If you were a fan of one or the other, you probably scratched your head a few times, but just watching high school football, that's what it's all about, as Coach Sanger said. And he's been around plenty of high school football games i wouldn't doubt anything he says as far as that goes it's friday night live the special playoff edition more interviews we'll get you updated on the scores that's happened today and tonight and as well as the games coming up tomorrow and monday at the unidome after this timeout on the isc radio and television network